Citroën, 1919. Concept. Celebrating the centennial of the French brand, the Citroën 1919 Concept is a future electric vehicle that aims to honor the brand's 100th anniversary. It has a body that resembles a transparency capsule, a double perspex bonnet, and a glowing logo, all of which are references to the design of aerospace vehicles. Autonomous driving technology at level four, a personal assistant that can communicate with passengers and a driving range of 800 kilometers are all features of this vehicle. A clever suspension system is also included, which creates the impression of a magic carpet ride by making the vehicle feel as though it is floating over the surface of the road. The 1919 concept is designed to be a traveling companion for long distance intercity travel, providing passengers with a lounge experience that is both comfortable and roomy while on wheels. Seal vans. There is a firm known as Seal Vans that manufactures amphibious caravans and boats that are capable of being pulled by automobiles and other types of vehicles. Their ability to drive both on land and in water without the need for additional modifications or complicated processes is what we mean when we talk about amphibious vehicles. The caravans and boats that Seal Vans provides come in a variety of sizes and types, each with their own set of features, advantages, and prerequisite provisions. Some boats and caravans, for instance, are required to have a license, a tax, a vehicle inspection, or a registration, while others do not have any of these requirements. The goal of Seal Vans is to provide travelers who want to enjoy both camping on land and cruise in water a one-of-a-kind and versatile experience that includes both of these activities. Although it has its headquarters in Turkey, Seal Vans ships their products all over the world. Flying Whales. Located in Canada and France, Flying Whales is creating a new line of airships that can carry large and cumbersome goods to faraway places without the need for terrestrial infrastructure. The LCA 60T is the company's main offering. It's a 200 meter airship that uses helium lift and hybrid electric motor and can transport loads of up to 60 tons, including wind turbine blades or wood logs. The company's goal is to utilize airships, which are environmentally friendly and produce low emissions, to transform the logistics business and lessen the negative effects of transportation on landscapes. Last year, the firm secured $130 million in investment, and by 2025, they want to have completed their maiden test flight. Although there are other companies involved in the effort to revive airships, Flying Whales stands out as one of the most forward-thinking and ambitious. Xpeng Aerot. Xpeng Aerot manufactures smart electric flying cars for private consumers and operates at low altitudes in the air. The biggest flying car manufacturer in Asia, Xpeng Inc., has it as an associate. The goal is to offer products and solutions in the 3D transportation area, including urban air transportation, scenic location sightseeing, emergency rescue, and air patrol by integrating intelligent vehicles and advanced aviation technologies. It has created a number of versions of flying automobiles, including the X1, X2, and X3, that can take off and land vertically on electricity alone, have manual and automatic driving modes, and use distributed electric propulsion. As for the flying automobile concept, it has shown both a ground module and an air module that can merge or detach on their own. With the use of special flight permissions granted in both China and Dubai, it has successfully completed more than 15,000 flight tests. The Air Car An idea for a hybrid car aircraft that could go from the ground to the air in a matter of minutes is called the Air Car. Professor Stefan Klein, an engineer and pilot from Slovakia, established the firm Klein Vision, which is responsible for its design. The Air Car's propeller and wheels are powered by a standard gasoline-powered BMW engine. Its carbon fiber construction makes it both sturdy and lightweight. It has a range of 1,000 kilometers and a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. It has a range of 700 kilometers and can travel at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour when driven on roads. In case of an emergency, it can land using its parachute system and its wing can be folded into the chassis.
The cockpit, which may be reached from either side, can accommodate two people. With the goal of radically altering transportation in the future, it has successfully completed multiple test flights. Zip Charge Go With its 8 kWh battery, the portable Zip Charge Go power bank can charge electric vehicles at 7.2 kW. It was created by Zip Charge, a British firm that is trying to address the issues of electric vehicle users regarding charging infrastructure and range anxiety. It weighs close to 50 pounds and is roughly the size of a carry-on bag. Because of its wheels and retractable handle, it is very convenient for transport and storage in the trunk. It has a standard plug that it can use to charge itself, and then it can be used to charge electric vehicles that have a Type 2 outlet. Depending on the vehicle, it can provide a range of up to 40 miles per hour. Additionally, it features 4G connectivity, which enables users to control it using an app and a bi-directional inverter, which allows it to sell energy back to the grid. It features a customizable finish and is constructed from recyclable plastic. Deep Sentinel System The Deep Sentinel System is an underwater home that provides researchers with the opportunity to live and operate at depths of up to 200 meters for a period of up to 28 days or longer. Deep, a research organization with the mission of revolutionizing subsea exploration and observation, is the entity responsible for its development. The components that make up this system are modular, meaning that they can be rearranged and rearranged in accordance with the requirements of the various missions. In addition to a satellite communication buoy, it is equipped with a renewable power system and a bioreactor for waste treatment. In addition, it has a safety certification from DNV, which is the most reputable certification body in the world. By the year 2027, it is anticipated that it will be accessible to the general public. Space Urchin Drawing inspiration from the shape, structure and communal herd of sea urchins, Space Urchin is an idea for a spaceport or a star. The 19-person design team hails from a variety of countries and regions, including Vietnam, China, Singapore, South Korea, New Zealand, Shanghai and Australia. The Space Awards 2022, hosted by the Fondation Jacques Rougerie, bestowed the focus prize of the architecture and innovation on it. The three primary ecologies that make up its proposed interplanetary infrastructure are the herd ecology, the space waste ecology, and the robust skin ecology. The sea urchin's ability to alter its color, shape, and texture in response to its surroundings is the foundation of resilient skin ecology. The principle of space waste ecology is the collection and subsequent reuse of space trash for the purpose of making new and improved products. Shane Carr a hypothetical electric vehicle with two wheels and hoverboard-like self-balancing capabilities is the Shane car. One of Shane Chen's many groundbreaking inventions, he also created the first hoverboard, is responsible for its design. They say it's the first two-wheeled vehicle that's both efficient and practical for city and highway driving. With its roomy interior, high roof and rear hatch, it's perfect for a family of five. A standard gasoline-powered BMW engine powers the propeller and wheels. Thanks to its carbon fiber construction, it is both lightweight and long-lasting. A parachute system and a wing that folds into the chassis allow for emergency landings. Both sides provide access to the two-seater cockpit. Driving on roads, it has a maximum range of 700 kilometers and a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. Another impressive feature is its flight range of 1,000 kilometers and speed of 200 kilometers per hour. RM Premium RM is a premium paint brand for car refinishing, and their premium global solution offers a look into the future and present of body shop restoration. Among our most modern's digital and sustainable offerings on display are the pioneer series of environmentally friendly goods that provide the quickest, most efficient, and most environmentally friendly repairs possible and the refinity of color matching systems that leverages cloud computing and artificial intelligence. Also showcased are the Agilis Spray Booth, 
which can be set up anywhere thanks to its modular design, and the RM The Power of One Loyalty program, which gives customers points for helping the environment. With the RM Premium Worldwide solution, body shops can improve their efficiency, reduce their impact on the environment, and prepare for the mobility of tomorrow. Land Rover ARC. An environmentally conscious and autonomous vehicle for use in Antarctica, the Land Rover ARC is an idea under development. Graduate of the Automotive and Transport Design Program at Coventry University, Oliver Ball, is responsible for its design. With its four-wheeled base, it can navigate the snowy terrain, and its modular cabin can hold up to five people. It powers its electric motors and other systems using energy from the sun and wind. And in case of emergency, it has a fuel cell backup. An additional feature is its retractable roof, which can gather snow and convert it into drinkable water. Its ultimate goal is to establish a regenerative economic system that uses sustainable tourism to finance research in Antarctica and other remote locations with few negative effects on the environment. In 2019, it was named the best design and innovation by the Contex. Lix Yacht Villa The Lix Yacht Villa is a concept yacht that is both opulent and contemporary. It has a space of 300 square meters and has the capacity to accommodate up to five people. Elix Architecture, a business that specializes in architectural solutions that are tailored to the necessities of the era, is the one responsible for its design. A living room that is furnished with contemporary sofas, white walls, and fiber lighting in the ceiling is included in this property. Additionally, there is a panoramic glass that surrounds the area in all directions, providing a complete view of the ocean, a sporting area, a helipad, service and sailor quarters, and a master bedroom with a beautiful cladding, and a panoramic glass that allows the view of the undersea world are also included in this property. In addition to a sense of creativity and elegance, it seeks to deliver a marine vacation that is both fashionable and soothing. Alpine A 4810. In conjunction with Alpine, a group of 28 students from the IED Design School in Turin, Italy, came up with the idea for the Alpine A 4810, which is a concept hybrid supercar that is fueled by hydrogen. It is a two-seater Berlinette that features a sleek and aerodynamic shape, which was inspired by the tradition of Alpine, as well as Formula One. It has headlights that are not visible, prominent fenders, a roof that can be retracted, and a tail that is formed like a W. Featuring digital screens and red accents, it has a cockpit that is reminiscent of the future. With the year 2035 in mind, it is envisioned as a vehicle that is both environmentally friendly and technologically advanced. The height of Mont Blanc, which is the tallest summit in the Alps, is meant to be referred to by the denomination A4810. Neom Epicon The Neom additionally, Epicon is a premium seaside tourism destination that is a component of Neom, which is a sustainable regional development in the northwest region of Saudi Arabia. In addition to a resort that includes beach villas, it is situated on the Gulf of Aqaba and consists of two jagged skyscrapers that house a hotel and residences. Ten Design, an architecture practice that strives to develop structures that are both imaginative and futuristic, is the one responsible for its design. The establishment provides a variety of experiences and activities for both residents and guests, including opportunities for relaxation and wellness, exploration of natural areas, water sports, and eating. Additionally, it encourages environmentally responsible behaviors, such as the use of renewable energy, circular economies, and green transportation. It is anticipated that it will be finished by the year 2025 and will establish a new benchmark for hospitality and architecture.